you know why I'm recording this video? Because there are some important stuff that I'm going to announce. Now, first of all, about the queuing of Magical Mirai, when I see this screenshot from the Osaka event venue in Intex Osaka, you can no longer get the queue starting from the midnight. That is actually a good thing to avoid any midnight queues, particularly from any Chinese people queuing for the goods and we sell the goods for at a higher price. So this is actually a good thing for this year's Magical Mirai. I am absolutely appreciated. I assume that the, in the Tokyo venue for Makuhari Mese from 31st of August to September 2nd. So I should start queuing at 7 a.m. Maybe I start walking from my hotel at 6.40 a.m. That would be just perfect. But the second announcement is regarding Pokemon Go Safari Zone in Yokosuka, Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. Now, we all know that there are many rare spots in Safari Zone, but what about the outside of the Safari Zone, but still regarding in the Japan territory? So there are not just only Phoebus are going to drop like mad, but also there are three more basic Pokemons that are going to drop like hell. So these are Beldum, Slackoff, and Ross. So make sure you check out them and probably I do not think they are going to be any shiny form. Just Winglow instead. Winglow is the only shiny form that you can literally find, not just only in Japan, but also in other parts of the world. So Good luck trainers, you may get one of the shiny wing lows, maybe a good IVs 100% or even a shiny or even both of them. Just good luck trainers. Now I find some of the Pokemon Go Safari Zone in Yokosuka ticket can be found in eBay or even some other of bidding sites. But I can tell you that whenever you get the entry ticket for Yokosuka Kanagawa Prefecture, in Japan, in those websites, these are not going to be legit because Pokemon Go Safari Zone in Yokosuka has announced that only that trainer with that relevant IGN can scan that QR code. Otherwise, even you get the ticket, you want to scan the QR code, it is still not valid for you to participate in that Pokemon Go Safari Zone. Also, try not to spoof. Remember, spoofing may risk your account termination forever. So don't ever attempt to spoof to Pokemon Go Safari Zone or even other Go Fest maybe. Never attempt to do spoofing. I hate spoofing and I don't know what spoofing is actually. Just, I don't want to spoof anyway. I just want to enjoy the game in a legitimate way. Regarding this Pokemon Go Safari Zone event, once you have logged in with your QR code, even the app has crashed in the middle of the game and you try to reopen the app, you need not the QR code in order to reactivate the Pokemon Go Safari Zone event. So this is a good thing and if you have one more than one ticket in the previous lottery, so make sure you check in for both accounts and remember, once you have checked in for that QR code, it will no longer be valid to any other account so do not attempt to buy any safari zone ticket online like in the ebay it's super risky and now for the third announcement is catching celebi in pokemon go so far we only have six steps instead of eight but we already know that what step it is literally so let's go through every steps in catching celebi in pokemon go so the first of all is step one of eight. The mission is called a ripple in time. Now this is a super easy test for the returning players or if you are familiar with this game. So power up Pokemon five times, battle in a gym two times and battle in a raid. This is super easy. If you appear in the gym nearby and there's a raid, just two gyms nearby or just a straight ahead, you can literally do it within 15 minutes. I swear, I digress. And the rewards are 10 Pokeballs, 1 Fast TM, and 1 Super Incubator. I don't think this reward is super attractive other than just the Super Incubator. Now the step 2 has many more challenging tasks to do. Make 3 new friends, evolve and evolve the grass type Pokemon. Now remember this 
you have to evolve a stage 1 Pokemon to stage 2 not from a basic Pokemon to stage 1 so remember it's also a grass type so Ivysaur, Valgloom no no not Valgloom, Gloom to Valgloom or Velosum would do the test or even Nuzleaf to uh, I forgot their English name but I remember that Japanese name is called Datengu or even the starter Pokemon from Chikorita to Bayleaf and then Meganium, Trico to Grovile, then Sceptile. These Pokemons are the best grass type Pokemon that you can evolve the grass type Pokemon to the maximum of stage 2. So this one is also easy to do. Now the one that challenge comes. Catch a Pokemon 3 days in a row. Oh my god this should take at least 3 days to complete. So remember in the midnight, all of the Pokemon has been reset to their limit to maximum of 500 catches per day. So make sure you get the first catch during the midnight in order to finish quickly. Now the rewards are Stun Stone, just one. That will be enough. One premium rate pass, I will absolutely take it and 1,500 Stardust. And now let's go on to the step three. Use a Sun Stone to evolve a gloom or a sun current. Now that would be easy because you already got a sunstone in the previous step here and reached level 25. I bet most of the trainers should have reached this level and hatch 9x. So if you have 9 2 kilometer x and you have a super incubator or just 9 regular incubator that would absolutely do the job super quickly. Or even if you like to hatch 9 10 kilometer x i really don't care or i don't mind you to do this at all you may just rip it off and hatch on 9 10 kilometer x at the same time that will be just absolutely quickly particularly if you have a lot of super incubator from the ultra box now the rewards are one king's roll one premium ray pass again and an av encounter now this ev tends to be level 15 and 100 percent for uh, level 15 EV is 415 CP so remember this number and now we move on to step 4 and here comes some interesting fact now the professor requires us to walk with the EV that we have just caught but literally you can start walking with your EV if you have previously catched it during the EV community day with your shiny EV or a good EV in like 96% or even 100% so Walk 10 km with Eevee as your buddy to earn candy. Now, this mission has to earn 2 candies. Literally, you do not have to walk entire 10 km as long as you walk for 4.9 km or less that would be safe. Just do not earn the first candy before you reach this step. So this is an important glitch. Not, I can't say it's a glitch but it's a skill here. So. When you have reached it 10 km and earned the two candies and it is in the day, evolve there is EV into an Espeon that will grant you another 2.5k experience there and send 20 gifts to friends. Now, send 20 gifts to friends is absolutely easy if you have more than 100 friends and they just keep opening your gifts and you can literally do it within one day. That would be just absolutely quickly and the rewards is another EV encounter 2500 starters and a metal coat now the step 5 is to walk another EV remember it's another EV so you can't cheat this time you have to walk the entire 10 kilometers because you evolved it, your previous EV and swap the body to another one now this time it's evolving into Umbria at night remember just walk 10 kilometers with your EV and make sure you you body your EV when it, you are evolving an Espeon or an Umbreon. Just remember, Umbreon evolved it during nighttime and Espeon during the daytime. That would be just perfect. Now, train a Pokemon. This would be an absolutely easy, particularly if you have nearby race like a legendary race, level 5 or level 4 Tyranitar race. That would be just attracting a lot of people to get into that race and ask just some random guy say, Hey, I'm doing this mission. Can you do a trade? Just trading some trash that would just cost you a hundred starters that would be just absolutely easy to do it now the rewards are 15 pineapple berry an upgrade and also a star piece now 
This 15 pineapple berry tends to be most likely used in the next step. And here it is. Visit Pokestop seven days in a row. That would just take absolutely enormous time because it takes absolutely a week to do it. And 25 pineapple berries while catching Pokemon, that would be just way, way, way too easy for a well trained trainer just like me and just randomly place another pineapple berries even if you did not catch that Pokemon. So you can literally just pineapple the legendaries like a madman you like to and that will be just very easy to do and maybe you can do it within half an hour that would be a fair guess i guess and use items to evolve pokemon two times now remember those evolution has to be items so porygon to porygon 2 a gloom to uh bellowsong or like sunkern to i forget that pokemon name but should be uh, absolutely forgot <laughs> sorry about that as long as you use your items, it will be just fine. Like for the reward here is a little bit new, I must say. Other than just the dragon stales and 3,500 starters, you got a new pineapple berry called silver pineapple. Just five, that will be just a little bit too few to me because silver pineapple berry is not just only have the base power for the pineapple that is the two times candy when you catch the pokemon but also has the potential to get the pokemon easily by 1.8 times so it acts in between the red candy and golden raspberry should be that will be an absolutely useful item to you now for the step seven or eight i guess no one have reached it yet but we can generally guess the professor is going to require us to trade some of the Pokemon, earn a gold Johto medal that is obvious because this one is catching a Celebi and I already got a gold Johto medal and catch a specific amount of grass or psychic type Pokemon. I just hope there will be no evolution for the psychic type Pokemon from stage 1 to stage 2 that will be just evolving like a madman from Abra to Alaskazam that will be just ripping up my Abra candy. Now the final step is of course catching Celebi, grab the Celebi candy maybe just 20 for the newly catch the Celebi and also of course Stardust and also maybe more Silver Pineapple candy that would be absolutely perfect to end this Celebi research quest. Basically this Celebi special field research requires you at least one and a half week to complete. Now I think Niantech doesn't want anyone to complete the special field research request at a very mad pace because literally when I received the meal special research request some of them have already completed the meal special research request within just a day. That would be ridiculously fast. I think Niantech has did a quite a good job in announcing the Celebi special research it takes some time because the mission is called a ripple time it takes at least some of the days to complete some of the special field research tasks now i think you really did a good job here oh i almost forgot one thing ho is back for a limited of time but when i reached the japan fisher have flat way i already got a shiny hole so i really don't care about hole anymore maybe just rating one or two hole race during this period so good luck trainers hope you can get a hundred percent or shiny haul so i guess pretty much it about the updates i'll see you in japan in the next video peace